So today we're gonna head outside and get our home decorated for Christmas. From planters and window boxes to lights and garlands, I'll show you simple ways to add elegant Christmas touches to your home this season. I'm first gonna start with adding lights along the porch roof edge. When we purchased this house, I could tell I wasn't the first person with this idea as there were many nails already available for me to use. So to hang the lights, I'm just going to drape the cord across the nails and secure a few of them with small pieces of wire. And if you are ever curious about any items I use in this video, you're welcome to check the video description for more details. So at the very end, I'm just going to run an extension cord across the last portion and then just let it run down alongside the house to the plug-in. So this year, I thought it'd be fun to wrap the porch columns with lighted garlands. So I'm just gonna start by securing one end of the clear LED string lights to the end of the pine garland, making sure the plug will be at the garland bottom. Then I'm just gonna wrap the clear lights around the garland, followed by a strand of red LED string lights over top of the first strand. When decorating outdoors, I like to choose mostly clear lights as a neutral base light color, and then just add an accent color like red, green, or even multicolor. With the addition of a small nail at the top of the column and a piece of wire, it is time to put up the garland. So first I'm going to wire the garland end to the nail and then start wrapping the post. I try to keep the garland fairly tight around the post just to keep it from sliding down. The garland is secured at the base with wire as well. This really is such a simple, elegant way to decorate porch posts for the Christmas season. Next up, we're gonna start on the front porch planters. I purchased these grapevine spheres secondhand for $6 each and thought they were perfect for my planters this year. To start, I'm gonna wrap them with red LED string lights. I used about 100 light count lights per sphere. So then I'm gonna wrap a piece of pine garland with clear LED lights. And I'm just gonna set the sphere aside and then place the garland around the outer edge of the container. Next, I'm gonna place the sphere on top and adjust the pine greens a little. And now it's time to start adding some floral stems. First, I'm gonna add a few frosted berry bundles. I like the contrasting classic red coloring and texture they add. I'm going for simplicity with these planters, so I'm just going to choose two florals, with the next being red amaryllis blossoms. And as you can see, it really only takes a few items to transform planters into festive holiday decorations. The planters in front of the house will start off with one large spruce top in each, wrapped in clear and red LED lights. Usually I think of a lighted display in terms of what is most important in the design. The base lighted color is always just clear lighting, and the next important items in the design have the addition of another light color, red in the case of this year's design. So at the base of the trees, I'm going to add some amaryllis flowers. And next, I'm going to add some frosted greenery sprigs, berry stems, and lamb's ear stems. I decided not to decorate the planters with bows or ornaments to mirror the simplicity of the front porch planters and posts. And jumping inside for just a second, I'm going to wrap some battery timer lights in a couple wreaths to add to the upstairs windows. Lighted wreaths and decorations in windows are a great way to add the look of exterior Christmas lighting to upper levels of your home without having to get out a ladder. And moving back outside, it's time to decorate the window boxes on the garage. I'm going to start by adding spruce tops. 
Next, I'm just going to wrap them with clear LED string lights before adding more decorative accents. For a rustic nature look, I'm going to start with corkscrew willow branches. Then I'm going to separate this floral bundle with a wire cutters, adding these white snowball looking decorations first. Next, I'm going to add these red and white ornament stems, along with some red berry stems as well. And then I'm going to add a few snowy pinecone stems, followed by some lamb's ear stems. The final touch will be to add some decorative ribbon bows. If you would like to see my bow making technique, you are welcome to watch the quick tutorial video I made linked in the video description. And I also switched out my little flag on the garage with a wintry one. Because our home is brick, to hang the garland above the door, I've installed three hooks in the porch ceiling next to the brick that I've tied twine to. First, I'm going to tie each of the three ends of twine to the garland. I added clear and red LED lights before this step. And I'm just going to run an extension cord next to the door and then across the porch to a plug-in. So then I'm just going to start adding some red shatterproof ornaments. Though much of the decor has been simple, I decided to add a little extra to the front porch garland as I want it to be the focal point of our home. To coordinate with the other floral arrangements, I'm going to add some red amaryllis floral to the upper horizontal portion of the garland, followed by some frosted greenery stems. I'm also going to add some lamb's ear stems, followed by some berry branches. And to add more of the red to the top of the garland, the last thing I will add is some frosted red hydrangea blossoms. And there you have a festive Christmas doorway garland. So finally, I'm just gonna wrap some clear LED string lights spiraling up this small ornamental tree. This is such a simple way to expand Christmas lighting to other areas of the yard. And now it's time for the finished look. 